What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today we have two Dean from Hells on the channel here. And you might be thinking, Eric, you've already done this video and I sort of have, but I've compared this here, my 05 USA Dean ML, to another 2015 American Dean ML. One of 150 versus one out of 100. Two different runs, 10 years apart from each other. But now what we're going to do is compare my 05 Made in America, one of 150, to this 06 Made in China production Dean from Hell because I get a lot of questions regarding which one people should buy and which one is going to be the better Dean out of the two, you know, especially with the current Dean prices and everything like that. So what we're going to do in this video is you're going to see the differences and the specs between these guitars here. You're then going to hear them in a mix and I'm going to give you my final thoughts and opinions on the guitars and maybe where you should spend your money, especially if you can find either one of these. And keep that in mind. If you can find either one of these, that will be the bearing issue on which one you should buy, the American or the Chinese one. So without further ado, Let's get into this. All right, so here we have the Made in America 2005, one of 150, Dean from Hell. So we have mahogany body, we have a mahogany neck, we have a bound rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets. We also have the very iconic lightning bolt paint job on here, which has changed a little bit throughout the years of the Dean from Hell's production from a Dean Guitars production run standpoint, and it's changed on Dimebag's own personal Dean from Hell from the many times that it's been refinished. Um, we also have the traction knobs on here as well, which is an iconic part of Daryl's, um, you know, guitar tricks and guitar mods. We have a DiMarzio Super Distortion in the neck, which is what Daryl had on the Dean from Hell when he retired it. You have a Grey Wire Bill Lawrence XL500 in the bridge, which is what Daryl ran on all of his guitars in the days of Pantera. We have an original Floyd Rose as well, you know, the real deal, not an off-brand or a license by Floyd or anything like that. Very good, very cool. It's also rear-routed and recessed, you know, unlike his actual Dean from Hell, which was a top-mounted Floyd Rose because Dean never did that from factory, and that was the only way you can get a Floyd Rose on one of those early Deans, is that you top-mounted them. And on the back here, I should also mention, you know, the Made in America one also has Dimebag's uh, printed signature on the back of the headstock that is a vinyl that is just kind of glossed over. And we also have the V-shaped neck, which is very important. Also an extremely comfortable neck shape and very crucial for all you Dimebag fans that not every Dean ML has a V-shaped neck. So if you can get one that has a V-shaped neck, you're going to be pleasantly surprised because it is very, very comfy. We also have Grover tuners up here. You know, they hold tuning just fine. I have a little bit of foam in here just to reduce a little bit of string noise. I know Daryl used to do that and he also ran a string tree on some of his guitars as well just to really keep that noise down. And that's more or less it for the general specs on this guitar here. Um, a very crucial thing is that these guitars and pretty well every guitar body for the most part is not built out of one piece of wood for the most part. This guitar and a lot of other guitars, if you hold it under the light, you might be able to see the separation and the laminate where the pieces of wood are joined together. I kind of did that on my own here. I'm going to try and put it on camera so you guys can see it, but this guitar is made of roughly two or three different pieces of wood to make the body, and that's just a normal thing. On other guitars that are made overseas in like higher production volumes, you might be seeing like four, five, six, or even seven pieces of wood to make the body under the paint when you hold it up in the light in just the right kind of lighting. So that's kind of the American Dean from Hell in a quick nutshell. Let's get to the Made in China one and see what's up. All right, and now we have the 2006 Made in China. This is the very first year of these import Dean from Hells. Now, I know there's a lot of contingency around what is better made in China versus made in Korea or Indonesia, but that'll be for another time right now. But for the most part, the specs are pretty much the same. There's gonna be a few key differences between this and the American guitar. We have the obviously the same mahogany body and neck and the bound rosewood fingerboard. We also have the same V-shaped neck profile on the 2006 Dean from Hell, which is very important because as I just said, not every Dean guitar has a V-shaped neck, especially a lot of these imports. You usually get the very traditional C-shaped neck. So it's cool seeing the V-shaped neck on a more production friendly and readily available guitar for the most part. I think we all know how you know how hard it is to find some of these guitars in the wild. Um, we also have very similar electronics here. We have a Bill Lawrence in the bridge. It is not a gray wire though. This is kind of like the Bill Lawrence USA pickup. So it has a couple extra wires so you're able to actually split the coil of it. This is made in the 2000s, I believe. It is not like the gray wire which was made in the 80s like Daryl would have actually used. We have the traction knobs as well. We have a Dean branded pickup in the neck here, not like the USA, which has the DiMarzio Super Distortion. On the bridge here, we have a licensed by Floyd Rose tremolo system. People will knock these licensed by Floyd Rose. Sometimes you get 
get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones. It's all about how well you take care of your Floyd Rose. I have a video on how you set up your Floyd Rose and general maintenance tips on how you take care of your Floyd Rose. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out after this video so then you can learn about how to keep your Floyd Rose in tune and actually working properly. The owner of this guitar said this Floyd Rose uh, holds tune very well, but I think he might change it just to actually have a bit more of like a dime bag feel and using like an actual original Floyd Rose and keeping it a little bit more appropriate like that. But yeah, otherwise we have Grover tuners and that is more or less it. This guitar here, as I was talking about the, how many pieces of wood are used to make the body, I think this one is around three or four pieces of wood. I held it up in the light as well just to kind of see like how many pieces are made of it and not like it really affects the tone or anything. I'm not sure if it does. I'm not scientifically proving that the more wood on the body changes the tone or anything. Um, just know that if you're getting a production guitar, as I said earlier, that's made overseas somewhere, you might be getting a guitar that's built out of a couple more pieces of wood on the body, and that's totally fine. Otherwise, we got the same lightning bolt pattern here, which is a little bit different than the USA one. I'm going to show you guys in just a sec here how they differ from each other and compare to Daryl's original Dean from Hell as well. So, let's get into that. All right, so now we have the fronts of the guitars both in the same shot here, and we can see just a little bit of the differences in the lightning bolt paint scheme here. On the bottom corner of the Chinese Dean from Hell, we have this little two lightning bolt separation here, and it seems like the overall bolt is a little bit thicker in the design from what it's capturing on camera here. And even just like to the naked eye right here, what I can see, it's a little bit thicker on that versus the Made in America one. There's no little separation here right by the, the Floyd Rose here where there's two little pieces, where there's two uh, lightning bolts coming out of the side. And it seems like the lightning bolt is also very thin on the American one. Daryl's Dean from Hell looked a little bit different throughout the years too. And you're going to see on screen of how his lightning bolt changed. And let me know in the comments below which one you think actually looks more closer to his guitars based on these two here. And just going up the fingerboard here to the headstock, they look pretty well the exact same. One other little difference here is that the input jacks, the American one has a black O-ring that mounts to the body, the Chinese one has a chrome one. Daryl's Dean from Hell had a black one, whereas I think just for production availability, chrome was probably just easier to source and maybe a little bit more cost effective. Not like that has any bearing on the play of this guitar and that's a very easy part to change out as well. Let's flip these around and Let's just see what is going on with the backs of the guitars. All right, real quick on the back here, it just seems like the hardware on the Chinese one is using chrome strap pins, whereas the American one has black ones. And the tremolos should both kind of feel the same when you use them because both guitars have three springs in the back and they're both tuned the exact same with pretty well the same exact string gauges. Previous owner of my guitar, of the 05, they scuffed up the neck so it has a bit more of a satin feel, which feels really good. We have a gloss neck on the back of the Chinese one here. If that was not scuffed up, it would be gloss as well. As you can see, there is a little bit of a difference in the volute. The Made in China one has a bit of a V-shape volute and the American one has a U-shape volute here. Those are just to reinforce the headstock so they don't snap off in under any sort of extra tension or anything like that. The volutes don't change the sound of the guitar or the feel of the guitar, um, in my opinion, from av after playing both of these guitars for a little bit already. Um, it just seems like maybe the one on the, on the American guitar was replicating what Daryl had in his original Dean from Hell as well, whereas maybe this one was more of a newer take on the volute. They don't affect the sound or the playability, it's just different design choices on that. All right, now I got both Deans. I got the American and the Chinese, and I'm just kind of holding them kind of lightly tossing them in my hands just to get an idea for the weight, you know. They both feel like almost identical in terms of weight so far. The necks both feel very, very nice. They're a little bit different from each other. My 05 American one has a bit of a softer V profile. This one, the Chinese one, has a bit of a harder V-shaped profile, but I also think that this one is worn in a little bit more. This one also has the scuffed up neck, so that makes it a little bit smoother, whereas it seems like the gloss kind of accentuates how kind of sharp the V is in this guitar. This isn't as sharp as like an 80s DNML here, but this is still kind of a bit of a pronounced V, and it's still very comfy as well. Nothing too, too crazy or uncomfortable. As I've said about all these earlier import Dean guitars here. They're really, really good here. Um, of course, you're gonna get some lemons, no matter what. I've played some lemon American guitars. I've played lemon guitars that are made in Mexico, in China, you know, things like that. And I've also played some winners, and I feel like this is a real winner, and this is a really good representation of what the 
import line for Dean guitars from the early 2000s really represents or what they were striving to go for anyway. So take all that for what you will. I'm not going to say which one is better because obviously there's a few different factors upon that and which we're going to be talking about later. So with all that being said, let's hear how these guitars sound. We're going to plug both guitars into my interface going into the Neural DSP John Petrucci Archetype Suite. We're going to go through some clean, some lead, and some rhythm guitar tones as I normally do on my channel here. The settings are going to be the exact same for both guitars here. Nothing's going to be changing. Here we go. Let's listen to how these guitars sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
so now this is going to conclude the demo and comparison of the 05 one of 150 made in America Dean from Hells versus the 06 made in China production Dean from Hell. And if I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions, this 06 is a very, very good example of what Dean was striving for for their import lines on their comeback or their rebirth. This is a very good guitar. The neck is really good. The whole guitar is solid. It sounds great. It feels great. Um, the only thing I could recommend if you find one of these things is change some of the hardware. You know, if your Floyd Rose isn't staying in tune even after all the mods that I have you know, demonstrated in some of my other videos to keep your Floyd Rose in tune, switch it out, you know. Change some of the volume pots if they're not good. Change the neck pickup if it's not good. The bridge pickup sounds fantastic. The neck pickup, as you heard, will clearly get you by and it sounds good, but it's not a make or break as maybe guitars that are shipping with even cheaper pickups, for example. And the Dean pickups have always seemed to be pretty okay and pretty decent from a starting point. Now, compared to the American one, the American one, as I've always said, this is the gold standard for dime bag guitars for the most part in, in terms of accessibility. Getting these Dean guitars are a little bit easier and somewhat more affordable than the Washburn guitars. You know, that is all like very subjective now because it seems like anything that's related to dime bag is going up in value and it's becoming harder to find. And there is a thing called dime tax that's associated with anything related to dime bag. So as you're going to see on screen right now, that previous sold listings of the Made in America Dean from Hell are going through the roof. And I encourage you to go online and put in that number that you see in Canadian and convert it to the dollar that your country uses and just to get an idea of how much these are and yeah they're going for crazy money whether it's American or whether it's an import guitar even the import guitars are going for pretty well what they were selling for if not a little bit more than what they were selling for brand new when they were brand new which is pretty wild to think that they have you know dipped and come back in value but that's just how things go and especially with these guitars not being made anymore and becoming increasingly harder and harder to find now if you were me and you were getting into guitar and you saw both these guitars on the wall and one caught your eye because the price was a little bit more affordable than the other one I honestly think this made in China one for this particular model if you can find one of these early 2006's would have been a great substitute if you didn't have the money for this guitar, which I did not as a kid, and I didn't have the money for this guitar even as a kid as well. So it took me a while to even save up for really nicer guitars as well. So with that being said, um, would I do it again and buy this? Of course I would, because I got this guitar well before dime tags and, every, and all the Dean prices went crazy. If you want to save some money, and I really recommend you look for one of these earlier 2006 Dean from Hells. The early, Easy way to figure that out is if the serial number has the number 06 right behind it, right behind the letter Y on the back of the headstock. That will indicate that it's made in China. Yes, the Y indicates that it's made in China. And the first two numbers indicate the year. So if you find a Y06 or a Y07 like Dean from Hell, you're going to be in great shape. I've played a couple of newer Deans, like some 2014s and up. They're okay. That's going to be for another video, how I get into that a little bit deeper. And if you don't want to break the bank on something like this, one of 100 or one of 150 Dean from Hells, the Made in China early Dean is going to be the right guitar for you because it feels great, it sounds great, and it's honestly built so well. And especially if you want to save some money and pay tribute to the man who maybe inspired you to pick up a guitar in the first place, this would be a great option to get your hands on if you can find it. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for checking it out. And let me know in the comments below which guitar you prefer more. If you prefer the Made in China, more budget-friendly Dean from Hell, or if you prefer the... 2005 Dean from Hell or if you prefer any of the American Dean from Hells or any of the earlier Dean from Hells in the chat. I love talking Dean guitars with everyone. They're one of my favorite brands or at least used to be for many different reasons but these dime guitars are always going to be very special to me no matter of where they go and I'm definitely excited to see where they go in the future with the whole new line that is going to be coming. If you like this video and all the other things I do, consider subscribing. It really helps me out, lets me know that I am doing a good job and that you like the things that I make, which is very important. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like these kinds of videos and I like doing these kinds of videos. And once again, thanks for checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.